transportation solutions. We're not transportation problems. We get hassled, we get cited, and we get handcuffed. And still, we rode out here today. You give us resolutions. Uh, there was one December 20th, 2006, that addressed when motorists hit cyclists. It disappeared, we never saw it again. You voted for it unanimously, it just disappeared. You paid $400,000 for a bike map that would have recommended bike routes. Disappeared, haven't seen it, where's the money? You funded a bicycle master plan, the 2008 bicycle master plan. I'm late for everything, but it's already 2009 and we still don't see the $450,000 bicycle master plan. We're the experts on the streets from the perspective of a cyclist. We'd like to be asked about these endeavors and we'd like to see that money do something to actually benefit cycling in the city of Los Angeles. But you're using soft words like encourage, recommend. We brought you the Cyclist Bill of Rights. You voted unanimously to ask for a report. Nothing has come back from those who are in charge of the reports. So we stand before you and we want to partner with you, but this is the, the biggest city in the most populated state and the most powerful country in the world. So we would like to see safety on the streets become a priority and we're here to partner with you, but we're here to make it happen and we're looking for strong words like commitment and we're looking for strong actions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. Our next speaker is Road Block. After that is John Cassidy. Good morning. Good morning. I'm a lifetime resident of Los Angeles, born and raised. I'm here today to raise awareness about the increasingly dangerous practices of some members of the LAPD in dealing with large-scale group bicycle rides. This is not to say that all or even a majority of police officers act belligerent. In fact, many times over the years, the LAPD has been very kind and tolerant of the rides, and they are to be thanked for that. Sadly, there appears to be a growing pattern of disregard, harassment, and even violent behavior perpetrated against the community rides, and this needs to be addressed. I've personally witnessed officers driving belligerently into the masses, forcing bikers to swerve into others, and even going so far as to tackle riders off their bikes. I've seen whole groups of riders cited erroneously in what amounts to collective punishment. I'm here today to ask that the council understand and appreciate that social rides cause the streets to come alive with the community and that it is a good thing. In a typical night you will find people of all backgrounds and classes from lawyers to baristas riding all over the city. People are getting outside, they're getting exercise, and they're getting together. What I'm asking of the council is to urge the LAPD to use utmost care if and when they decide to ticket or disperse the crowd. If LAPD is going to ticket individually, then please find a way to do so safely and accurately. If LAPD decides to disperse the rides, then please do so safely and reasonably. We are all part of the community we ride in, and we're all part of the greater Los Angeles area. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. John Cassidy is our next speaker. After that will be Lindsay Nelson. Good morning. Hello. Uh, my name is John Cassidy. I'm uh, from Hollywood and I'm a cyclist. I was also involved um, in one of the incidents that the previous speaker mentioned. Um, and I would also like to ask that we get safe enforcement from the police department. Um, you know, we witnessed aggressive driving um, into the crowd of cyclists uh, on the evening of March 27th and um, frankly it's quite scary when you're on a bike and a police cruiser veers into a group of cyclists um, in order to randomly select ten of us and give us tickets for um, running a red light that we were nowhere near that red light um, we were at the time when they pulled us over we were half a mile away um, some of us were apparently going five miles an hour and some of us were apparently going 20 miles an hour and it's just erroneous and we need safe enforcement if they choose to enforce um, we would like it to be accurate thank you very much thank you Lindsay Nelson is our next speaker and after Lindsay will be Mark Peterson good morning good morning um, I live and go to school and ride my bike all throughout LA and I would just like to point out that the disparity between the way motorists and cyclists are treated here in LA not only in the lack of protection from law enforcement 
but in the lack of cycling infrastructure is a blatant violation of our due process and equal protection rights under the United States Constitution. Um, city Council should support us because we are the solution to, all your, to your problems. We help the environment. We reduce traffic. Our right, we have rights too. We are taxpayers too. And we are part of the solution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mark Peterson. And then uh, after that is Thomas Presley. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm, a, I'm a commuter cyclist. Um, my bicycle is my transportation. Um, and I'm just here to, uh, to support all of the comments that have come so far uh, and to say I'd, uh, all of the accommodations uh, which are possible would be, would be great to see. But I think the minimum we should expect is, uh, is a, a reasonable and knowledgeable treatment by the LAPD. Um, as an example, um, when I was uh, riding into downtown at one point, uh, an unmarked car got on its loudspeakers and told me to move over to the right. Now, I was riding just outside of the door zone, which is the area that you know cars can open their doors into and you can hit it and be seriously injured. So it's a, there's a fundamental disconnect where I think law enforcement does not understand uh, why cyclists ride the way they do in order to keep themselves safe. I think this is one thing that can certainly help to, to have a, an understanding so that we can all, as citizens, use our transportation network. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thomas Presley. After uh, Mr. Presley will be Ted Rogers. Good morning. Hello. My name is Thomas Presley. I'm also a commuter cyclist. I live in West Hollywood. And uh, the issue that I wanted to raise was actually uh, had specifically to do with the city council with regards to the fact that a number of your constituents, as uh, is shown by percentages in terms of bike sales, is going up. So it doesn't make any sense that the city council isn't responding to their direct constituents' desire to have a cohesive, comprehensive bike protection program. I mean, it makes sense. Bikes weigh 25 pounds and cars weigh six tons. There's not any way that we could ever win against that, we, which is why we need the power of a, a higher power to protect us from that. Um, I understand that it's not under the city council's jurisdiction to prosecute, question, or bring uh, police officers directly to court to answer for their actions, but I do believe that it is the city council's responsibility to implement social programs that will help increase awareness of things like biking. Why has the city council, or if they have, can they present evidence for educational programs within the police department that is helping them become more aware of cyclists. I think a lot of the problems coming between motorists is because they're not being slapped on the wrist because cops don't know that they need to be citing people for this. So why is there not educational programs being funded by the city council to address this ignorance problem? And if that happens, it's a systemic thing. If the cops know to stop people for doing bad things, people will stop doing bad things. Um, I request educational programs need to be the top priority of the city council to make awareness a top priority. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your comments this morning. Ted Rogers is our next speaker. Okay, Mr. Rogers is Anton Xens. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ted Rogers. I write the blog bikinginla.com. Uh, I wanted to come here today to comment on uh, what, what happened here this last weekend is nothing new. Same sort of thing happened to me almost 10 years ago when I was struck by a driver in a road rage incident. I called 911, the police came, and the officer actually said, I was stopped at a stop sign when I was hit, and the officer actually said to me, I don't believe you were stopped at a stop sign because every bike rider runs stop signs. I don't. I stop for stoplights, I stop for stop signs, I'm courteous, I'm respectful of other drivers, other users of the road, and yet this driver was led away with no charges, no tickets, and basically the police told her, you did the right thing, do it again. The same thing happened in the Mandeville Canyon incident when this uh, doctor had done it before and the police let him go. So he did it again. And he was very surprised when the police were upset with him the second time when people were injured. Now it's happened again. This Hummer driver has been given permission to do this again. Yeah. Yeah. We have got to stop it now. There is violence taking place on the streets of this city. 